Whenever you say rejoice to your hearts, it can mean only one thing, and that is that you're talking to Brother Dave Gardner. Brother Dave, we want to thank you for, uh, you know, just coming off from a big, fast show and talking with us here. Well, that's a joy. It is a joy. Something to think about, you know. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you blow, blow drums. Uh, yes, and but to clarify that, you know, to my following, you better say play drums. Oh, really? You don't blow a whale drum? Uh, well, whale drum, see, and, uh, and then, yes, I mean, that's uh, actually what they would say that, you see, but they uh, picked up on that uh, much later, that expression. It's usually uh, considered they just ran it into everything, but usually with horns, see, like reeds or brass, you see. Then they got to saying, but that cat blows some fine bass, man. <laughs> see, see, he blows fine bass and he gets the front of it from Germany. <laughs> Get the rest of us over here, you know what I mean. It's that Stuttgart where they make them fiddles. Stuttgart, yeah, yeah. I heard of that. Yeah. I heard of that. Old Stradivarius fiddle's a good fiddle, too. You blow a little fiddle? <laughs> yeah, man, not really. I don't play no fiddle, but there you go. But I appreciate the thought, you know. But I mean, you do tear it up on the drums, and this was a big surprise to me. Well, that's good. But did you ever think about that you could uh, uh, take uh, a deduction off for the loss of your Stradivarius? I hadn't thought about it. No, tell me. Depreciation, you see. Oh, I see. <laughs> Man, you are. See, a lot of folks say you know everything depreciates. I mean, there's some things that don't depreciate. There's some things that go on for some ever. Some things excel. And just, oh, it just keeps getting weirder and weirder all the time. Yeah, and yes. some things excel. excel. You didn't pick up my cue. Come on, get oh, it. Oh, excel's a good thought. You yeah, know, to excel. yeah. You know, I was watching the show out there. And Were you? Yeah, I picked up on a few of these things that you did. Hallelujah. I get sell and rejoice. Yes. And well, I mean, it's just how it falls, see. Like uh, Emerson says that one half of the person is, uh, uh, is uh, self and the other half is uh, expression. He says that. Don't know, but I mean, I'm glad to come back to Fort Worth now and then because it's good, man. It's really swinging. Fort Worth. There ain't no sense in Dallas and Fort Worth feuding because they're both good. Uh, Dave, can, uh, can we talk a little bit about, um, you know, there are political satirists and there are sick comics, and what kind of a comic are you? How do you classify yourself? Well, I'm going to get uh, out of it like this and say, like them folks, you know, that smoke them filters on them cigarettes. How about I it? think everybody ought to figure out what I am through their own thinking. I think that's a marvelous answer. And that way I don't limit myself to uh, work in any minority groups or any majority groups because I believe uh, that we are individuals. You are. There's no doubt about that. Everybody. There's some cat over here bugging us. I mean, is he bugging you? He's oh, not he really, no. Oh, he's okay. a good disciple of the light. <laughs> and uh, he came to join the service, see? Yeah, he did. And, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, uh, I mean, I figure there's enough. Uh, everybody's pretty much aware of uh, what they call misery, you know, and folks whooping up on each other's physical vehicle, you know, and, wanting to try to kill somebody when they're not really far enough advanced and then they'll reincarnate later and start another war. And uh, probably I think the way that it would uh, go is by education, but I don't mean education in the sense of school education, but through self-education. And self-education could probably be an answer to a question, but I mean, I don't think anybody will ever answer the question until they become the uh, question and the answer itself together, see? And then you're beyond question and answer, and you ain't bugged with it, man. You're just having yourself a power. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think somebody's been spiking your corn cone. I really do. I mean, you've got to be on No, no, now. to the contrary, you see. Um, any kind of uh, alcoholic uh, stimulants, you see, don't really stimulate you. kind of do it you make it like this. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I just hang up inside my skull there, you know, and think about things. Have you ever been psychoanalyzed? No, because I couldn't afford it. <laughs> and uh, besides that, I often wondered about people that went in to study psychology, you know, because that's supposed to be soul science. Soul science. Ain't that weird, psychology. <laughs> and they lost the meaning of the word, see, so they get all messed up themselves and they say, I'm going to study to see if I can find a bunch of other folks that's as crazy as me and pay me for doing it in the effort. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I quit said to you, Elvis Presley, what would you say? I'd say he's Elvis. Because there ain't anything in the whole world like him except Elvis. <laughs> Elvis sings the hymns and Brother Dave delivers the word. And that's the service. 
That's the service. Bless your heart. And it's a joy talking with you and thinking about it and thanking you for asking me to come on your service and uh, see the folks out there. And I can see you too, friends. <laughs> Even through all those lights. That's right. There you go, and I ain't selling you nothing but happiness, and that don't cost 